Five books centered around skiing, snowboarding, fencing, triathlon, hockey, and archery. It's called Exploring All I Can Do, all penned by Nia, the author. I caught up with her in an event for educators where they lined up to learn more. So this one is about a young girl encouraging her sister to try hockey. My hope is that with my books, they are encouraged to not only look at hockey, but look at fencing, but look at archery, but look at pickleball, who knows? Because many of those sports don't have a very first African-American in them. Nia is a triathlete and tells me she doesn't often see people of color represented in certain sports. So she says her first book was written for her little niece so that she could imagine herself in any sport. It's just a way for other people, not just African Americans, not just people of color that think outside of the box, but others as well to be more inclusive. Oh my goodness, I love it. Ranjit Singh and her nephew Rajdeep have read every book and they came to buy copies to give away to friends and family. Every time I read them, I get goosebumps, no matter which book it is. I mean, I never envisioned myself um, practicing fencing, but now I feel like, why not? And as the president of Milwaukee's Ebony Ice Ski Club, Ranjit works to minimize barriers of access to snow sports for children of color. Seeing books like this really brings to fruition the possibilities that we can do or be anything we want to be, and I'm here for it. What do you think of all these books, all these children of color in that? every book and this is my, my favorite. That's your favorite snowboarding and skiing? Why is this one your favorite? Because it had a lot of good pictures. Not only are they written by myself, a person of color, they're illustrated by people of color, they have characters of color, and that is unique in the industry that oftentimes people of color are left out. How does that feel to know that you have such great support? That is amazing because when I started off with, the, with my books, I wasn't even sure who would be interested. So my first thing is I did a crowdfunder, I did a Kickstarter, and that was my proof of concept that people were interested in this content. And so when I first went out to raise like $5,000, I raised 16, and that showed me that people are really interested. There's a need to have more books of color on bookshelves. This series is gaining so much traction. Not only is there a teacher's manual to support each book, but on the heels of the Olympics, Nia's books are being recognized at a conference in Europe this month. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> for TMJ News' Olympic Zone, I'm Steph Brown.